welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. As some of you know, I am a huge Back to the Future fan, and uh, today this landed in the post. It's the Back to the Future limited edition Lego Cuso set with DeLorean and Doc Emmett and Marty McFly minifigures complete with his Volterra skateboard. Absolutely amazing, guys. I can't wait to get this one out of the packaging. Now, if you could follow the link down below to support my own Lego Cuso project, I'm trying to get a Jungle Explorer from Jurassic Park made, and uh, it will come complete with an Alan and Ellie minifigures. It's a great set. Go and check out the link below and show your support if you can. Also, if you haven't checked out my other Back to the Future related videos, I've reviewed the uh, Mattel hoverboard, I've reviewed the hoverboard.org.uk hoverboard, I've also reviewed the Mag Nike trainers, and I've also reviewed the holographic hat. So go and check out the reviews for those links below. Okay, on with the review. So starting off with the packaging, we've got the beautiful Lego logo combined with the Back to the Future logo that we all know and love. And as you can see, this is set number 21103. And if you're interested, if you're over 10, this set should be suitable for you. I love the clock and lightning motif that comes from behind the DeLorean. This really seals the deal for me and makes the packaging look fantastic. Down in the corner, we've got Marty McFly giving us a wave along with Doc Emmett giving us a smile and the Volterra skateboard just poking around the corner there. This is Lego Cuso set number four. Please go and check out our Lego Cuso design for more information. On the reverse of the packaging, you can see how the cars can be customized to match each of the three films. We've got Back to the Future part one with the famous tail fins and the winged doors. We've got Pack to the Future Part 2 with the Krups coffee maker on the back and the fold down wheels to allow for the hover conversion. And we've got Back to the Future Part 3 with all of the parts cobbled on the bonnet and the old style hubcaps to send this car back to the Wild West. Down here you can see some of the detailed decals that come with the set including the time settings display, the 2015 barcode license plate, the California outer time license plate and even the flux capacitor. The printed tape labelling that is seen in the first film all over the dials is actually used to show how you can customise your model to match one of the three movies. A really nice attention to detail there. So when the parcel arrived I gave it a little shake and it's actually quite heavy. It's quite a heavy set. Surprisingly heavy. So all that remains is to get this guy out of the packaging and show you what's inside. Here's what comes in the box. As well as three loose parts, you get one big bag and four smaller bags of Lego parts. As well as this, you get the instruction booklet, which is quite thick and comes in this satin finish. In the opening pages, there's information about the DeLorean vehicle and its role in Back to the Future. The illustrations are nice and the pages are glossy. There's also some information about the Michael J. Fox Foundation, which raises money for Parkinson's. And here's the Marty McFly minifigure. Really detailed, you can see his check shirt with his life preserver there. And he's got a twistable head on the other side, a sort of a mild disgust mixed with shock. And here's his Volterra skateboard, which is great because he can stand on it. And as you can see, it rolls nicely. And here's the Doc Emmick minifigure, which has a really nice printed chest, including his little stopwatch and even his radioactive symbol on the back. Like Marty McFly, he has a ch twistable head and he has a shocked expression for when the Libyans arrive. I cannot begin to describe how excited I am about building this set. Okay, back in a bit guys, stay tuned. I've got this one piece here. There's supposed to be two. And there's only one in the set. I've looked through the whole set for like the past 15 minutes. And there's only one of these pieces. Oh no, here it is, under the uh, flux capacitor. There we go. And here she is, the DeLorean from the first film. It even has the little plutonium sockets in the back and the outer time number plate. Really nice. The gullwing doors actually work. They're on a hinge. And inside you can see the time dials. And at the back there, we've got the flux capacitor. There's even enough room for Marty McFly to take a seat. This alone is enough to sell me the set. But there's more. The car rolls nicely, and the wheels can be flipped down, 
for hover mode, just like the car in the second film. The hover conversion continues with a Krupp's coffee maker. Then the outer time number plate can be swapped for the barcode futuristic number plate that we all know and love. If this wasn't enough, transparent blocks of Lego come with this set to simulate the look of the hovering car. This really is great as you can display the car on your shelf as it appears in the second film, flying. Then lastly, to simulate the look of the car in the third film, the red hubcaps can be swapped out and the bonnet can be changed to match the cobbled together bonnet that's made by Doc Emmett in 1955. Here's a closer look at the design. This is my personal favourite as I feel it has the history of all three movies. My only complaints, although they're very small, are that these parts of the windscreen are very flexible and can break off. They don't feel very strong compared to the rest of the set. Also these cables, really nice details on the side but they do pop out quite easily and you find yourself having to fix those back on every time you pick it up. Here's me thinking they put some kind of cool hoverboard in there, but no, apparently this is a tool from Lego called a brick separator. And uh, basically you apply this to a brick and then you use leverage to snap off the brick from the other brick. A pretty cool little invention. It looks like you can use it as a little Lego sort of wrench as well by plugging that into a Lego Technic piece and using this to turn it. Pretty cool. I still might use mine as a hoverboard though. So there we have it guys, that was the Lego Cuso DeLorean with Marty McFly and Doc Emmett. This set is fantastic, make sure you pick it up. Okay guys, please check out the link below for the Lego Cuso Jungle Explorer link, and uh, make sure you support that project. In the meantime, rate, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.